In my last video, I shared how you can make a difference in Milton Keynes by making a difference where God has put you. That is, in your own community, through your own connections. Do you remember that I said, even though you may not be able to do something big, the little things you do have a big impact. You just need to be who you are, where you are. I also told you that I was going to share testimonies, stories of different things different people in Grace Church are doing, so we can all be encouraged, inspired and prompted to partner with others in prayer. So today I'm going to tell you about the little things Pavla and Erica are doing. Here's Pavla's story first. She says that back in the summer, when it was still nice and warm, there was a lot of talk about energy prices rising. She knew things would be hard for her family, but she knew things could be even harder for some of her friends. So thinking of her friends, Pavla had an idea. She thought it would be silly for them all to spend money on heating their homes separately and sitting alone, miserable and cold. Instead, it would make more sense to put the heating on in one place and invite the others over. She says she kept remembering the idea, then forgetting to do anything about it, not to mention feeling silly about it. Pavla says she has a few friends, but they don't know each other and she finds it hard to introduce people. Anyway, after reading in the news about many charities setting up warm places and hearing that Grace Church is setting up something similar, she thought, oh well, I better just get on with it. So although she can't help with the Grace Church project because of the timings, she's doing what she can, where she can. She messaged her friends, introduced the idea, said that she'll open up her house every Monday morning to create a warm space and invited them to come over. And guess what? All four of her friends said yes. Next Monday is going to be the first time. Pavla says she has no agenda. She just wants people to enjoy warmth, a cup of tea and each other's company. She's hoping to slowly gather courage to invite more people over too. Well, I know all who go will experience more than a warm space, a cup of tea and good company. Through Pavla, they will also experience God's love and peace. Let's pray God's blessing on this wonderful idea. We're cheering you on, Pavla. Erica is getting involved in something similar in Newton Longville, where she lives. She's helping with a village scheme to open up the free church from 10 to 4 every Wednesday for tea, coffee, soup and a roll and signposting. So there's two stories. I hope they've encouraged you. I hope they've inspired you. Is God prompting you? Is there an idea you could share here? Remember, little things make a big difference. I'll see you next time. God bless.